What is up? Welcome back to another video. I did take a couple of weeks off YouTube because to be honest, post comp has been absolutely crazy busy and Ross and I are getting married in just over two and a half weeks. Boy oh boy, we are so excited to not only get married but also head overseas for the first time in three years. And our wedding day, May 25th, actually marks three years since we got engaged in Maui 2019. So yeah, I'm just super excited for that. Today's video is going to be a snippet of my leg training as well as a full day of eating, kind of to be honest, just a little bit of a YOLO day. Uh, loosely tracked over the calories that I was meant to be having but I'm here to hold myself accountable I'm not going to you know pretend like everything is perfect and that I'm superhuman and that I'm on track all the time we all have our highs and lows and we all have struggles but what's important is that one we hold ourselves accountable two we don't avoid the issue we look at what's actually happening and three we get a proper plan in place in order to combat that so today I am like doing this video after I already recorded this leg day and full day of eating yesterday but anyway today is a brand new day and my goals for the day ahead are to you know continue hitting my water my steps my sleep my gratitude all these things I never struggle with but also nutrition today so I'm really focused on whole foods I just need to go back to the basics of whole foods nourishing my body nailing my macros so that's today's plan but let's get into my I guess day of eating and my workout so my days start off at 4 30 in the morning Ross and I wake up I had a crumpet with some honey on it pre-workout fueling myself for my leg day and then of course I made my pre-workout supplements so pride from EHP labs some pump from ghost I stacked those two together and then I also added in some creatine as well. So this is my pre-workout supplement snack. I don't think I've fully shown our home gym on my YouTube yet, but anyway, Ross and I have always wanted a home gym, and this is hands down our favorite room in the house. So let's warm up with some booty banded exercises. Warming up with some booty bands, we have side to side steps, some glute bridges, and some glute bridge abductions. So 15 reps of each exercise for two rounds. Today I wanted to talk through my compound lift. So here you can see I'm doing hip thrusts. I've placed the green 10 kilo plate below me because the bench was too high for me. So what I'm doing is warming up with the weights before moving into my working set. What this means is if I've got four sets of hip thrusts, I'm not gonna go straight in there and count the first set that I do as my working set. I start at 50 kilos, 60 kilos, 70 kilos, getting a feel for the weight before actually doing my working sets, which were at 90 kilos and 95 kilos. I'm really focused on driving through my heels, squeezing my glutes, and making sure that I'm keeping my neck in line with my spine, controlling the movement throughout. So this is my last working set of six reps at 95 kilos, and then what I ended up doing is a drop set. So this is where you take off some of the weight, and then you move on to the lower weight for some more reps. So I've sped things up here just so you can get an idea of it. So I decreased the weight from 95 kilos to 60, but I'm making sure that I am really focused on that tempo. So going down to the bottom, nice and controlled, coming up, squeezing at the top, and then slowly back down to push out some extra reps. So 60 kilos does feel a lot lighter than 95 kilos, but after four working sets on the heavier weight, I definitely feel the burn. A few key things to note are my feet are about shoulder width apart. My knees are pointing out they're not caving in. I'm really challenging myself to keep going with this. So I took a quick little break and then got back into it just to get out another couple of reps. Woo! My main lift on this day is actually just the hip thrust, but I have some accessory work I'll show you. So we've got the clams here with a band, really making sure that I'm controlling the movement, coming all the way down, getting that full stretch, and then coming back up. For this exercise, I'm doing 12 reps on each side. I actually didn't end up filming a couple of the exercises, but I did want to show you this one as well as the next one, which is my cable kickback. So this is a full range of movement. I'm not stopping next to my other leg. I'm actually going further forward and then bringing it all the way back up to the top. And I'm doing this with 12 to 15 reps per side for three sets. 
As always, one of my main feedback from the WBFF is to build my glutes, so that's what I'm going to do. After my workout, I did some steps as I do have a sedentary job. I like to get in at least a 30 minute walk in the morning. So I just did a 35 minute fast walk whilst replying to Instagram DMs on my phone. I feel like making some banana bread muffins. Macro Mike baking mixes are my favorite because they don't require a lot of ingredients and usually you can make them with just one bowl. Winning! So I decided to make the banana protein muffins today but I also thought I'd put in a square of chocolate in three of six of the muffins and then I wanted to actually try some kind of a chocolate icing so I used a sugar-free icing mix with some protein yogurt. This is the easiest recipe ever and they turn out so perfect every single time I make them. I decided to have three and I gave one to Ross and then put two in the fridge for tomorrow. So I wanted to make it like a sandwich instead of icing it on top. It just seemed easier that way. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. Yep. This is what the inside looks like with the square chocolate in it. Yum. When it comes to lunch, often Ross and I will eat different foods, so I thought I'd show you how I do his one, just so that you get two extra ideas for lunch. So I put the air fryer on 200 degrees for 20 minutes for the chicken, and I boil his vegetables. Add in some capsicum in the last five to 10 minutes and then cook some eggs as well. Ross's lunch is really easy because he does like to eat the same thing most days. Whereas I like to eat different things for most of my meals each day, depending how I'm feeling. So today I tracked some mini pizzas using wholemeal wraps as the base. I use a tomato paste on the base of my pizzas, but you could of course use ketchup, barbecue sauce, or any other sauce that you like. Today's pizzas are vegetarian, so I'm using a range of different fresh vegetables, starting off with some mushrooms, and then layering in some capsicum. You could of course use any toppings that you like. Ham and pineapple is another favorite of mine. I was out of red onion, so I decided to pan fry some normal onion and then top the pizzas with that. However, red onion fresh does work too, and it's absolutely delicious if you like a little bit of a sweet taste. Next up, we of course have mozzarella grated cheese. I get the cheese that is already grated, one, because it saves time, and two, because it's just easier. I love mozzarella because it doesn't taste too strong, but also it's very macro friendly. You could of course use a dairy free cheese as well. Next up, it is time to cook the pizzas. So I personally just use the oven on 200 degrees Celsius and I bake it until they look crispy and the cheese is melted. You could of course use an air fryer if you have a big enough air fryer. It is time for dinner. So our neighbor gave us some fresh snapper. Oh my gosh, delicious. I decided to crumb it. So all you need is some flour, some breadcrumbs and a cracked egg. Roll the fish or chicken into the flour, dip it into the egg and then roll it around in the crumb and coat it. Of course you could use your hands, but I feel like that gets really messy. So for each of the fillets, all I'm doing is again, rolling them in the flour, dipping them into the egg and then rolling it around in the bread crumbs. Once done, you're going to spray them with some olive oil and then bake it in the oven at 200 degrees until crisp. I like to pan fry my fresh vegetables and serve them with some garlic herb seasoning. I've really been loving mushrooms, capsicum and onions recently. Anyway, my fish turned out perfectly. I served it with some ketchup and then I decided to have some Weight Watchers custard. Oh my gosh, mixed with oat milk. It was so creamy instead of just using water. So I served that up and then I topped it with some frozen raspberries and it was the perfect end to the day. What a good day of food. Okay, so that wraps up my full day of eating video as well as a little snippet of my leg day. I hope that you got some meal inspiration from this video and as always, if you did enjoy it, please remember to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button.